A typical day starts in the morning where I wake up and I try to find out where in the apartment is Momo. Today he's in front of the door because there's a nice draft coming through on the bottom. So we start our mornings off with a lot of pets, a lot of belly rubs, and when I'm finally tired and need to get going, I tell him to go potty. And he knows exactly what I'm saying. So he gets up and he knows the drill. I've recently been transitioning him off the prong collar and onto a regular collar. Um, he's just a puller. It's just a part of the breed. But, you know, I've been liking this regular collar a lot. We take him for a 10-minute walk in the morning. So this is where he pees, he poops, and he has, like, designated areas. And when we come back, he always demands more pets. So here we are petting again. And then I'm going to tell him no. Okay. And he gets upset. All done. All done. So I'm getting ready now, and when I do, he's usually sitting here waiting for me. Um, it's part of the routine that we have. And he gets his morning kibble, which he's not loving at the moment. But we also do get a West Paw topple, which I put with kibble, peanut butter, and broccoli. And you can just see how he tracks it. He's so excited for it. But he's like, he's doing some like um, emotional regulation, you know? He's keeping it cool. He's keeping it cool. He gets to eat it when I leave. So here he's waiting for me to leave so that he can munch on it. I love coming home to him because look at just how cute he is and how he stretches and how his tail wags like crazy. This again is another round of pets. So we do like maybe another 10 minutes of this. Whoa, what's that noise for? What's that noise? Oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> and as I'm setting up my workstation again, Momo immediately goes and drinks water. And this is like our routine. I don't know why, but me coming home encourages him to drink water. And as I sit down to eat some snacks, he always is there begging he knows exactly what i'm doing and he knows that there's a high possibility that i will give it to him it's super nice being able to work from home because i get to come back in like the mid-afternoon so i'm not out super super late but i do leave him alone for about six hours i'm trying to push it now to seven but you know really working on his separation anxiety and just being able to be by himself has been really a lot of progress with this new job so i'm loving this like work from home life situation and sometimes i'll just do random things around the house and he follows me and he'll just plop down and take a nap it's not for you no it's not for you silly boy look at your tail wags i know you boo boo and sometimes when I'm just walking by or he's just looking way too cute, I can't help myself but pet and smother him with kisses. And even though he's not loving it here and he's tolerating it, I do like that he lets me do that to him and he reciprocates my love. And for the rest of the day that I'm working, Momo's just like this the entire time. He's just sleeping. He only really just changes where he sleeps. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Yeah, I know. He was a little hesitant here because sometimes I come in my room to change and it's not for the actual walk, but we were going for a walk now, so it was fine. It's raining a lot today, so we did have to put them in the raincoat and he doesn't really love it, but he needs it because sometimes the fur gets so soaked and we can't dry it properly, so he gets hot spots. So this really keeps him covered in that problem area. We go for about an hour walk each day, um, just so he can sniff. Um, he chooses the routes, I choose the routes sometimes. It's a lot of different ways that we walk around the neighborhood. And we work a lot on communication too, like making eye contact and checking in. But now we're back and there is a ton of drying to do. And he's usually really good at it, as you can see here. So we're doing the paws, we're doing the head. And he loves the head. It's like a massage for him for some reason, but it, he looks forward to it all the time. Now for his favorite part of the day, 
dinner. Here we have some American Journey kibble. I have golden paste here with two teaspoons and ultra oil for pumps and some chicken gizzards. He does eat kibble. We recently switched over to that before we used to do half home cooked half kibble, but he does have a lot of food allergies. So that's why I was doing that. It just got really time consuming. Um, so we're trying kibble again to see how that works. Um, he doesn't seem to like this kibble as much as the home cooked, obviously, but we are going to switch to open farm to see if the good bowl recipe is any good. Hopefully he doesn't cause him any allergic reactions or anything like that. But I do try to keep him healthy and I throw in some other like fresh food stuff just to keep his teeth clean, keep his vitamins good, all that stuff. And of course we add water to his kibble so that, you know, there's extra moisture even though he drinks a ton throughout the day. He actually loves the turmeric base and he will not eat the kibble unless there's water in it. I think I somehow trained him too by accident. We unwind together. At this point, Momo stops interacting with me, especially around 10 p.m. That's kind of like his bedtime, so I can't touch him. But he'll occasionally get a spurt of energy, so we'll play or he will chew on some toys like you see here. But this is how we unwind. After coexisting for a bit, Momo hears that I am ready to go to bed and he decides that he finally wants to join me. And you can see here, he's like kind of contemplating his life and then he decides he wants some pets. So I give that to him. I give it to him for like about another five, 10 minutes again. Um, and sometimes he asks to jump on the bed and he will not take no for an answer. So I will argue with him for about five minutes as well, just being like, no. And he'll literally point to the bed and I'm like, no. So thankfully tonight, we don't have that argument, but here he is laying down and getting ready to sleep. Thanks for watching.